Hi, I'm Hossein Dillai, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll see how we can apply styling to our user interface. So what we, I'll try to do is uh, changing the background color of the interface of the page and changing the foreground and the background colors of the uh, button and changing the font size and also the color of the, of the label here. So to do that, I'll jump in inside my home page .xaml, and here I can apply the styling from here so for the entry so let's start first of all by changing the background color of the stack layout so I can click background color and here I'll have a wide range of colors that I can choose from so I'll choose the white color and I run my project and yeah here it is but the white color just hide the, the text and the label inside the user interface so I'll go to the entry and change its background color to be something like light gray or just a gray color and I'll do the same thing for the label so here text color equal also gray and inside the button I'll try to change the background color to be green And the text color, I want it to be just uh, white. Control F5. So here it is. Say hello here. The text here is uh, in gray. The same thing in Android. Say hello and yeah, here it is. So now I I need to do some more changes like um, make uh, uh, making the font size bigger here for the label. So to do that, I'll go to the label and go to font size let's say for example let's try 60 control f5 let's type anything here say hello and here it is Say hello, and yes, the font size is now uh, much more bigger. Now I want to change the layout here, so uh, I increase the margin from the label, the button, and the entry here to the uh, to the right uh, to the left side of the page. So to do that, I can apply a margin into uh, every uh, control here but I can also apply the margin inside the stack layout but as you can see there is no margin property inside stack layout but we can use the padding layout so the padding property let's say we want the padding of of 60 for example control F5 and here it is 
now this distance between the elements and the, the left side and also the right side of the page is a distance of 60. So now let's try to make those elements be shown in the center of the page, not at the top. So to do that, simply I go here inside the stack layout and say vertical options equal center. So here I have the options I can choose from. So center and start. So here I choose center. Control F5. So here the elements now are in the center uh, of the page as you can see here. Now I want to increase the size here between the distance between the button and the text block and also here so what I can do here I go to the button and apply the margin so there is no margin in the button and there is also no padding property so maybe I can go and check the entry so let's check for margins there is no margin also inside the entry and also there is no padding so thanks to IntelliSense here I can check um, if a property is present or not so also here inside the label there is there is no padding and there is no margin so in this case what I can do is just wrap the entry inside a grid or a stack layout I can choose whatever I like And now it's inside the grid. Now inside the, in the grid, I can apply the margin property. There is no also a margin, so maybe I can apply the padding. So for the padding, I go and say. Uh, so for the padding here, I should specify four numbers, starting from the left, the padding to the top, the padding to the right, and the padding to the button. So let's start from the left. I want it, I want to let it zero to the top. I want the padding to be also zero also to the right and to the button I want the padding to be like 50. Let's go have sign five. And here it is now the distance between the button and the text and the entry is now uh, increased. Now let's try background color here, so let's say white and let's try a 5. Yeah, it works. Yeah, thank you.